He Xingfu, a foreigner, married into the Wang family in Wanjiazhuang, and his sister He Xingfu was her bridesmaid. For He Xingyun, who has studied abroad, Wang Qingmai, the man He Xingfu married, is really not bright, and he is too honest. And He Xingfu is not demanding, it is enough to find someone who treats her well and does not smoke or gamble. The auspicious time has come, and the wedding was supposed to be held at the hall, but the Wang family postponed the wedding because Wan Shantang, the secretary of Wan Jiazhuang village, had not come yet. Wan Shantang arrived late, and the wedding just started. Wang Yud and his wife are small surnames in the Wan family. Without Wan Shantang, the Wang family would not be where it is today. Therefore, they are grateful to Wan Shan Tang, and even asked two newcomers to give a big gift to Wan Shan Tang. Wan Shan Tang declined in every possible way, but he still couldn't resist, so he had to go up to the stage to accept the newcomer's salute to him. At the end of the service, He Xingfu and He Xingyun stayed in the wedding room. Wang Qinglai thoughtfully brought them some food. First, he and his younger brother Wang Qingji went out to toast with the guests. The two sisters, Xingfu and Xingyun, chatted for a while. Considering that he Xingyun's friends Xiaohua and Xiaozue were still outside to greet others, Xingfu sent his younger sister out to accompany them, but unexpectedly, Wan Chuanjia brought his brothers to disrupt marriage. The big men blocked he Xingyun in the room. After Wang Qingji saw it and stopped him to no avail, he had to tell Wang Qinglai. Wang Qinglai came to have a look, but the door was blocked and he could not get in. When He Xingfu in the wedding room heard her sister calling for help, she rushed out immediately, kicked open the door of the house, pulled away the people who were pressing on her sister, and directly picked up a stool next to her and threw it on Wan Chuanjia's head. Wan Chuanjia's head was smashed with a big cut, and he was helped out by his brothers. The guests outside soon learned that Wan Shanteng left angrily, bluntly saying that his son came to make them happy with good intentions, but this happened. After Wan Shanteng left, all the guests left one after another, and the scene became deserted. The Wang family tried their best to persuade them to stay but no one paid any attention. He Xingfu protects his younger sister, Wang Qinglai lets He Xingfu keep He Xingyun in the house quietly, and everyone goes out to talk. He Xingfu wanted to ask her sister for an explanation, but her mother-in-law and father-in-law accused her instead. If Wan Chuanjia was knocked unconscious, how would He Xingfu be held responsibility? Wang Xiuyu went to the village health center to inquire about Wan Chuanjia's situation, and was slapped by Wan Chuanjia's wife. Later, people said that Wan Chuanjia hadn't woken up yet, and even had to be sent to the county hospital for treatment. Xingfu found that Xingyun was not in the house, worried that she would be overwhelmed, everyone went out to look for it immediately and found the heartbroken He Xingyun by the stream behind the house. He Xingyun was on the phone with her boyfriend De Xiwen. The boyfriend on the other end of the phone obviously heard the joyous sound here and misunderstood her. He Xingyun was sad and cried, and Xingfu was determined to ask for an explanation for her sister. When Wang Xiuyu came back, she told her family what she had found out. He Xingfu smashed Wan Chuanjia with a stool in a moment of desperation, but she didn't expect to smash Wan Chuanjia so badly. She was going to check on Wan Chuanjia's injuries. Wang Qinglai said that she might be beaten to death now. Wang Yud and his wife hurriedly went to Wan Shanteng to make an apology, but they didn't dare to raise their waists for fear that Wan Shanteng would use this matter to trip up the Wang family everywhere in the future. And Wan Shanteng was eager to protect his son, aside from his son's rogue marriage at his wedding, 
he said that the Wang family had married a powerful daughter-in-law and opened his son's head. They really wanted to teach this new daughter-in-law well.